All right, so now my end stop is secured. That's impossible to do once you get the motor on, so you got to do that first. And again, I'll go through and you know I'll hook up um, all the screws here in a second, but I want to show you how this board mounts. Again, you're going to line up the SD card with the big hole, the USB with this hole, and you can use just a simple no washer half inch screw, 632, and that will self thread. I'm going to leave it loose for now. Another 632 screw. This board is kind of weird because, um, at least this version of it, this is a revision B. printer board and uh, this particular screw hole is smaller so we're actually going to use the long I think this is 20 millimeter and it's pretty close to an inch and what is that inch and a quarter so the tricky part is we're going to want to put one of these risers underneath here okay. and then that self threads there's no washer or anything on this it self threads on in the wood before I get it too tight I'll do this last one which is kind of tricky Flip this around so I can see it better. Oh boy. Try to get it to stand up there. There we go. Whoops. Let's see if I get lucky. And that is a smaller hole, so that also will self-thread. Just got to kind of fish around to find it. And now's a good time to kind of make sure. All right, let's do a little check here. So, yes. I'm going to actually loosen this one a little bit. absolutely sure that my USB cable fits in there. The USB cable that comes with this should fit real nicely into there. Sorry, I've been to Maker Fair this last weekend. Pretty much lost my voice. A little scratchy. Now I can tighten this once I'm confirm that that's centered correctly. So we got the end stop in, we got the, the board in. There's one more end stop I want to take care of, and that's this guy. Now when we put the bars on, uh, when, when we put the bars in, the uh, inside is going to have a screw that hits that. So when you put this on, <laughs> you're going to want to probably go from the bottom up, keeping the open side to the left as you face the front.
go. You can snip that off. What I like to do is this hole has been designed to get that through. I, think I blocked it with the board though. So I'll send it off to the edge. Plenty long wire. Oops. Come on. I'm going to hang in there because I want you to see <laughs> if it's totally possible. All right, plenty of wire, and I like how this kind of fits down through there. Whoops. So it gets out of your way. There we go. All right. So that's how that should go. So now I got my two end stops. Now, this is going to work fine. This is going to work fine. I'm going to tighten these, strip these off. Let's get our motors on. Not much time left. The, um, the motors for uh, the ends here are coupled together. So these are the short guys. So again, I'll put the minimum amount in here just to hold it. There's one. There it is. Two. I'll go back and add the rest here in a second. Alright, so I'm going to mount the uh, this one here in a second, because I want to do the whole top bridge, do that all together, if I can hold it there. So what I'm going to do next is feed on. Now I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get the the uh, assembly here for the bearings. We're going to mount the board, and we'll continue with our build. But I don't want you to have to watch me put all these bolts in. <laughs> so that's how it goes together. We'll be back in just a second with the next phase.